Hi everyone. This is Pam with Pam Stitchy Corner. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. It's been super busy since I've gotten sick with the flu back in October. When I got done, I ended up having to work seven days a week. Sorry for the glare of my glasses. I ended up having to work seven days a week and I've been so busy. I haven't been able to make a video and it just time got away <laughs> and then Christmas come up the holidays come up and then I've been very busy with um, knitting and crocheting Christmas gifts that a lot of them I was afraid to show because they might be watching so I didn't want to post many of them but I'm back now today is uh, December 31st 2018 the last day of the year I hope everybody had a great Christmas and a Happy New Year. So I wanted to come on and talk about the fall sweater cardigan along that I had on Ravelry. Um, knit along. Today's the last day, so I've only had one person uh, enter multiple um, items. So uh, you got a couple more hours to get in on it uh, and then I'll probably at the end of the week I'll probably make another video and say who the winner is so you know if there's you know so besides that what else has been going on not much just like I said working seven days a week um, I was off for Christmas New Year Christmas Eve and Christmas Day um, I had a very good one I had an excellent uh, Christmas haul, uh, first year that I've gotten mostly what, uh, crafty gifts, because a lot of times I, I think, oh, maybe if I throw hints, I'll get it, like, something crafty, but this is the first year, well, second, my mama did give me something last year, she gave me some cotton yarn last year, and this year she got me some more yarn, and, uh, my sister gave me some crochet hooks, uh, I'll show you. She gave me this for Christmas, and I ended up getting two of these for Christmas, which was super exciting. We always need hooks, right? So I've loved these hooks because of that, the arrow, the softness of them, the handle of them. I like them. They're very soft. So I was wishing for some for the longest, and I ended up getting two sets so I'm like super happy for that thank you if they're watching I got one still in the in the box and I have the other ones in my on my table my work table um, I got a bunch of yarn um, for Christmas a lot of them I put up already I don't know if I have many out I got three skeins of this for Christmas which I know where she got them at because I picked them out. <laughs> These come from Tuesday morning. I don't know if anybody has Tuesday morning around their area, but they do sell yarn. And they did have needles, but this time I didn't find much needles. But I didn't really care for the needles they sell because of the aluminum. They're aluminum needles. And I just, they, when you wear them out, they're no good anymore. So. I got those three. Ordered. I got this knit picks off of eBay. That ain't my Christmas, but I'm just showing you since I was in the area. It's knit picks stroll fingering summer blooms tonal. I've collected a lot more fingering weight this year, uh, this past couple of months because I've been wanting to do more socks, and um, that's my goal that I'll talk to next for next year um so we'll get right up in it when I come to a Christmas present I'll show you because it's going to be very chaotic and I want to hurry and get it done because I have to go to work excuse me I have to go to work in a little bit um let's see yes um my, I want to show you some of the whips that I got, being it's the last day of 2018. I want to show you what whips that I have on my needles or hooks as of right now. 
and then those I'll work on in the next couple of weeks to get them done and I also have a new start for tomorrow uh, another new start too so that'll be my new year start which I'll explain that if not in this video in another video because I don't want to make this one very long after my whips so these are the whips that I have on my needles which I have another one over there I can't reach I forgot to get but it's been on timeout since summer so I'll show that one another time this one's a fairly new one that I've started I went online and I found this yarn saliva I don't know how you say that but there's the information on it just that this is the color and I bought two skeins of this and I thought well that looked like a Mardi Gras color which I'm still looking for a different skein that looks like Mardi Gras colors so I balled it up this is what it looks like when it's balled up and I'm working on a size US 5 3.75 millimeter on a 32 inch thing, Knitter's Pride. That's what I'm working with. I got it at Hobby Lobby, as you can see the price on it. And that's what I'm working on. I like needles. I like these needles. The only thing is, is because of the color. They're yellow. And working with yellow yarn or color, period, my eyes tend to play tricks on me. <laughs> but I chose this. Um, pattern it is let me think off my head i won't know the designer's name but it's the uh it's on rivalry hitchhiker beyond pattern so this is what i got so far on it it's got little teeth on it but yeah i like how it's how it's pulling it looks really nice that's as far as I got on it. So that's the Hitchhiker Beyond. And I have it in a bag that I bought off of eBay. Oh, I just lost my yarn. Oh. Excuse me. <laughs> I lost my yarn. I got this bag from Rain Barrel Designs off of Etsy. There it is. Very pretty. Had a handle. And if I'm the inside is just a plain inside. I have to go down there and get mine in a minute. <laughs> the next sock, which the next pro whip is a sock that's been going ongoing for so many months. I got tired of working on the first sock and I put it up. And now I'm determined to get it done by next, by February. So here it is, the first one I got done on it. These are socks for my son that I'm making. And I am using the Pat Patton's Croy socks. And there's the colorway. I'm using Clover number one. 9 inch needles on that one. I like these needles because they're wood. And I can see the color better because of my eyes. I'm not really good. But they're wood needles. Yeah, they're the 9 inch ones. And I've gotten used to working with these tiny needles. But I do, in the new year, want to learn how to do Magic Loop. And I bought... Uh, a 32 inch needle yeah, 32 inch cord needles to one needle to practice magic looping which I'll get into that later but this is how far I got on the second sock the, I just got the cuff done and 14 rows of stockinette so that's how much I got done left on that one. I went and bought me some more row counters. You see that? I bought me some more 
this past uh, Thanksgiving, I went on a shopping spree for myself, thinking, okay, this is going to be my Christmas presents. So I went on a shopping spree to buy stuff for me. And the stitch counters was one. And then I found these little markers. You can see them. I got this whole pack for less than a dollar off of eBay from a Chinese company. It just takes a while to come in. It was pretty faster than normal. It didn't take a month to come in. Next one is socks that I'm making for my daughter. And same size needle. And I got the DPNs I use for the size needles. I only have one, so I swap them out. This is what I use when I get to the toes. Decreases. Um, let's see. I got the first one done on these, and I am working, I am using, excuse me, pull it out, Knit Picks, Felicia, and Dance Party. She chose the color. And I am doing the pattern by a Historian Knits off of YouTube. She has a Ravelry as well. Um, I just finished um, a pair of socks from her. You can look on my Instagram. Um, and see where I, um, posted a video, uh, posted a picture of a sky blue socks. The pattern was called, um, Stuck in a Porthole. And I love them socks. I'm wearing them now, so I can't show you. <laughs> but I love them. And I wanted to do another pattern by her. So I decided to do the Upton down up to down socks pattern by her and here it is this is the first sock that I done for Jasmine I don't know if you can see the pattern on this one but there's the pattern and I worked on her toe there's her toe and I did take a picture of her wearing this sock with the needle DPN needles on it but I didn't post it anywhere but I don't know how to insert a picture, otherwise it would. I might, when I get done with these, I'll post them on Instagram, the show. Because all my photos are on my phone, which I'm using. But, I really like this one. So, let's see. I am just started on the rib part on the second sock, so not much to show. So, that one's that. So, during everybody's vlogmases, they're doing, like, um, the event, giving out skeins of yarn and all that. So, I wanted some finger and white mini skeins. So, I went online, and I wanted to do a project with them. So, I went online, and I found Crafty Dye Yarn. Craftily dyed yarn, sock yarn, their mini skeins, and it was an order of five, which I ordered two sets, which is like a grab bag, and if I could think of the, it's on eBay, I can't think of, uh, not eBay, Etsy, and I can't think of the, the site's name right now, but when I do the shops, I'll let you know, but I ordered a whole bunch of skeins from her, this is what I got left. Because I've probably used three or four of them. That's what I got left. So I ordered a bag of them. And I'll just reach in or I'll have somebody in the house pick out the next one. And I'll add it on to I am making a cozy memory blanket. So here is what I've been doing. And I'm working on one right now. This one is one of the skeins that I got from... A local yarn shop. This is the colorway of the socks I just mentioned stuck in a porthole. The leftover I used to put in here. And I'm only using it one time. I'm not doing any repeats in this blanket. All the skeins is going to be done one time. And then I'll put my other skeins that I've used in this. It's going in here. Where I can use it in a different project or swap with anybody. It doesn't matter. This is a sock. My first sock I've ever made. And it's a... Uh, 
want to say Deborah Norville. Same with this one. This is the Sock of May Jasmine, which is the uh, Roll City Rollers sock. This is another skein I bought from the local yarn store. Sorry, I don't remember. I have to look up the name. And then this one came out of the grab bag. This one's my sun sock that I'm making. This is, I believe, in unicorns uh, name in the sock yarn that I got from Etsy. And this is from the grab bag, too. So I'm working on that one. So that's on a... That's going to be a long-term project right there that I'm working on. And then, um, that's all that I have. Oh, my harvest cardigan. Yes, I've been working on it, y'all. I put it away for a while. And as soon as Christmas got done, I got done with my Christmas presents, I pulled this out. And it's taking forever. Just forever in a day. Let me see. I think I'm done with the row so I can show y'all. There's the back. So that's as much as I got on it. I have not gotten to the arm split yet. I'm still working on the um, raglan. So when you look at it. How do you say? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. This would be my neck band. And then my arm holes right here. See, that's about how much I got done on it. I'm still working on it. This is going to carry me over into the new year. And that's what I'm going to talk about in probably in the next video of my 2019 New Year's plans that I have planned for myself. And to repeat, I'm doing this in Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee, Soft and Sleek, Low Peel Fiber in the colorway Pumpkin Spice. Yeah, Pumpkin Spice. I'll leave this one at home, so whenever I'm at home, this is my project. When I'm out and about, I do the other ones. And then tonight, I cast it on... Uh, very shortly. I'm using two of these Scarfy Lime Brands. It's called Two Ball Poncho. And you can get the pattern free off of the Lion Brand site. And I'm starting this. This is going to be a, a gift for someone for, for their birthday. A birthday gift. So um, this is what I got so far on it. But I'm going to use two balls of this. And it's called Cream Taupe. And then after I get this one made, I'm going to make one for myself. Which should be this color. Look at that. Isn't it pretty? So I got two balls of this. And this one's black and hot pink. So yeah. This will be mine when I get done. So that will be <clears throat> a new cast on for me this year. It's uh, I say cast on. Uh, it's crocheted. So, I'm going to be working with a K-hook 6.5. It's one of my new ones. So, I'm leaving this one at home to work on at home. There's many, 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 many other things I want to do, but one thing at a time, right? So, I'm going to leave it here because i got to go to work before I'm late. Um, I'm going to download this while I'm at work. But I will say my New Year's cast on is going to be with a, a sock cow that Pearl, Pearl Together group, uh, the, she's here on YouTube, she's got a rivalry group, Pearl Together, and they're doing a January uh, sock knit along, and I decided to join, so I ordered my yarn from Cowgirl Yarns in Laramie, Wyoming. And it came in mail this week. I'm going to do it in this brand. The colorway is number 8. 
and they're going the sock pattern is my cup of tea so it would be my cup of green tea so that's what i'm going to be doing my new year's cast on tonight at work while i'm at work i'm going to try to okay look i don't have a swift 